Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Hope you guys are keeping warm. Those of you who are were hit by the storm and experiencing winter right now. So a lot of you ask me about the um, Slick Sticks by Crayola. Uh, quite a few of you have asked me um, how they compare to the Gelatos. I have a lot of videos on my channel of me comparing them with different kinds of water-soluble things. So I'm going to do a demo of these real quick for you guys. I know a lot of you are new to my channel, and I am so blessed. So I'm going to do a little little refresh on these. Now, these are uh, available in your craft stores. I got these at Michael's. Uh, you can get them anywhere that they sell Crayola. They are twistables, and they are the slick sticks. And um, these are actually my second batch because I go through these like crazy. You get all these in a package. You can um, definitely use your 50 off or 40 off coupon that they offer every week uh, and use them to get these. That's what I did. And um, they're fantastic. So let me show you what they do. Now you get two metallics. So you get gold and silver and you get all the things that I love, which is... Uh, Roy G. Biv, I always say, in black and white. So you get red, orange, yellow, green, blue, <laughs> uh, and it, violet, indigo violet, which is your purples. You get a light blue. Don't know why they threw that in there, but hey, I'm not complaining. You get a black and a white, which is very important, and a brown, and then you get your silver and gold. Now, gelatos, you, I think these are $9.99, $13.99. I'm, I'm, it's one of those I'm not real sure. Um, you can definitely check it out. They have them on Amazon as well, those kind of things. Uh, gelatos, when you buy them, usually come in, what, like four or five in a pack, and they're usually in a color um, scheme, like maybe different shades of orange or, you know, that kind of thing. And they're quite quite expensive. Um, you know, you can use a coupon and get one pack. With these, you get all of them. Now I'm going to give you a tip about gelatos at the end, but what I want to do here is just show you how these work. So what I did here was I took black gesso, I took uh, white gesso, and then I took white paint. All I used were was uh, apple barrel acrylic paint in white because a lot of you I know starting out do not have uh, gesso or anything like that, so you definitely can use your white uh as, as a, gesso, a, a faux gesso kind of thing. If you're looking to make gesso, I have how to make gesso and uh, modeling paste and all that on my channel here uh, on my website everywhere. So you definitely can uh, find that. It's basically baby powder and white school glue and some water and white paint or whatever color you want to do. If you even want it to be in there, you can leave it clear. And let's get going. So let's take... Let's take a metallic and let's see how I'm going to move in for a second and see how they do on the black gesso. I love black gesso. I really don't use it as much as I should because I forget about it because I, I usually don't have it sitting around. So this is just the uh, metallic. You can see I'm using it on there. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, it's really hard for you guys to see. Why is it so hard to see? I don't know. Let's try a different color. Because I can see it, but it's hard for the camera to pick up. And that's your gold. And that's really bright. Let me show you. Let's see if this helps if I pick it up. Yeah, see that? That's better. And then you can blend it with your finger if you want. And you see that? You can see the silver as well. You know, and it's on black, so, I mean, you know, let's go on our gesso. Yep, you can see that much better. And, oh, that's nice and bright there. And I'm just using my finger right now to blend, okay? So, now, yes, you can see I use gesso because you can see some of the lines, but that's not a big deal. You can see the colors. Let's do some red. And these spin, like, these uh, wind up. You do this and it winds up real nice. That's the red on there. It's hard to see on the black and that's the red. You can really see it on there. What about some yellow? You can see I use the crap out of these. A little dark. There's the yellow one there. And let's do it on the white paint. There's the yellow on the white paint. Let's do gold. That shows nice. Silver. Let's 
red. That shows up real nice. And that's just the white paint. Orange. So you see, if you only have white paint, you definitely can use it for uh, a faux gesso, you know. Let's do some green. Can't see it too well on there, but you can see it on there, and you can see it on there. Yeah, and this is like a... Oh, look at that. I'm heck with these things. So if it falls out like that, you can use it in different ways. You can see a piece fell here. So I'm just going to smush it with my finger. You can see it there. And then I'll put it over here on the gesso. And then I'll put it over here on the white paint. No harm done. And I'll put a little bit. I'm going to put it here and then we'll wet it in a bit. And uh, use it as water. Water soluble. So I'm really hard on my art supplies. <laughs> so that's purple. You can't really see it right that well. But it goes on the gesso and your white paint as fantastically as that. Now let me show you. Okay, so you can see these are all going on here really nice. This is nothing down here. I did not gesso it or anything. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put a few colors down here as well. Here's brown. Brown looks, brown went good on there. That's the gesso, that's the white. Let's do brown down here. And then white, obviously you're not gonna see on the white, but look, look how nice it does on the black. That's pretty cool. And black isn't, I'm not going to waste it on there. Do I even have black left? There's black on there. Black on here. Black on there. And then let's see how they blend. So let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do some purple like that. And let's do some white because we're not going to be able to see white, but it should blend a little bit. And let's blend it with our fingers here. Well, if you didn't have blue on your fingers like me, it would probably blend better. Let's do it over here. With a finger that I didn't screw up. Okay, and that's blending. Okay. And maybe we'll do orange and yellow with the water. And we'll do some orange. And we'll blend here too. On the white and the gessoed and then some yellow okay so let's see what some water does just get my paintbrush I'm just gonna wet it okay now let's see what it does on this black That, that has so much mica in it. I know you can't see it. I don't know why you can't see it, but there we go. That's better. I don't know. Can you see that mica in there? That mica is so nice. And this is just on the black. And I'm just, it's hard to see on here as they get. There you go. You can see. And I'm just turning it into paint, see? So you can use it and do whatever you want. Let's do the white. I got green on my brush, but that's all right. So they definitely wet. And they're water soluble. So you can see how you can play and, and do whatever, you know, you want to do. You get those nice colors. That's on black. Let's see about the white. So I'm going to take this. Now, if you want to make these permanent, you definitely can use your um, Mod Podge and all that like I did in the other videos to activate these to make them permanent. Totally up to you. So let's go on this red, and this is on the gesso. And I'm just using my paintbrush. And look at that. Look how nice. That activates real good. <clears throat> you don't want your brush too wet because it just won't uh, it'll kind of wash it out. Look at that. Look how nice. 
and you can blend it here and you can see look makes an orange and I'll put this up closer when we get to most of them being done I don't know why my stuff is shoddy today very bright out today we had terrible storm a snowstorm as a lot of us did and uh, my blinds are closed but I tell you what it's so bright out there all right so now let's do this color so you guys can see and I'm going to give you my tip at the end on what to do to really get the more bang for your buck. Now these are on, this is over here, I'm going to go yellow, is the white paint. And look, I mean that's a that's beautiful and look at this, we can blend right here, look at that. And then we can activate the orange. So using white paint is just as good. If you don't have gesso, you don't have to worry that you can't use water soluble things. Just put your white paint down. Look at that. Look at that blue. How nice. Look at that. So pretty. Okay. Let's blend here. Let's clean our brush though, Cal. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to blend it out to the yellow and then blend it out to the orange. Look at that. So good. Just blends out so nice. Look at that. That's your orange. And you can see right there, I'll hold it up when we get done with everything. But look at that, how it blends and just, oh, it's so nice. Okay. This is a great alternative if you don't have the money to buy gelatos. Okay. And now we're on the regular paper. Well, what's this going to do? I don't know. Let's see. Here's black. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you what happened. Let's do this. This happens with gelatos. It happens with everything. Now you can see you're still getting color, but you can really see those lines underneath there where you, where you uh, scribbled it on. And what happens is the difference with it having the white here and the gesso and even that gesso is when you lay this down, the paper, if there's nothing underneath of it like gesso or white paint, what happens is the oils and all or whatever it is in there, the product soaks into the paper. There's no barrier. So then what happens is you get this. My finger apparently still has blue on it. You get this uh, that won't smooth out. Okay. So I'm going to show you the best way to use these. So, okay, if you want to gesso, you see the different gessos. If you want to just use white paint, you can see what you get, right? Very nice. But here's what I suggest you do. And I suggest this with gelatos. I suggest this with any water soluble uh, thing that you have. So you see over here, I put that blue. Remember it broke? Well, what I suggest to do is wet your brush and make this your puddle. If you don't have gesso or any of these things, make this your puddle. Activate that blue up, get that dissolved. Right? Might have to leave it sit in the water for a minute. It's all right. Or or your uh or your uh, matte medium or white school glue, whatever you're using. And you want it to be there. So when you go to the paper, you don't have any uh issues. Do you see how what a nice color you get? You get that nice color because it's dissolved here. And you can paint wherever you want. It turns into a watercolor of sorts. So you don't have to think, oh my goodness, I have gelato. You could do this with gelatos or anything. Uh, I don't have gel I have gelatos, but I don't have gesso and I don't have this and I want to use them. Well, you definitely can. Just water them down. Um, it's one of the things that I think the gelatos tells you to do uh, as one of their preferences. Water them down and look, you get this great, and that's my tip. And that's, like I said, that's the fun of it. So you definitely, I know it's a big uh, mess on here, but you definitely can use it with your black gesso, your regular gesso, and your white acrylic paint. Oh, I love to finger paint. I love, because I do mixed media, I just love to get it all in there. And you can see, if I want to put, look at that. And it just, 
it just melts. I mean, it's just wonderful. Just wonderful. And they are reactivated uh, because they are water soluble. So just so you know that, but look, and these are fun to do with kids. I mean, they're fun to use in your mixed media, your art journaling and everything because <clears throat> they're inexpensive and you, you know, I mean, you can play, look how you can play. Now, my last tip for you is go on, you uh, go on uh, Amazon, search for gel sticks there. I, I believe they're called gel sticks, Faber Castell gel sticks. And what you will see will come up are kids. They're kids, uh, gelatos in a sense, and you get all, all kinds of colors and they're a really, really good price. They don't, they market for some reason to us artists and they make them much more expensive and, uh, buy them in smaller packs and all, but for the kids, they put them in a big thing for like $9.99 or 12. I don't even remember what they are. Very inexpensive. And you definitely can buy, uh, all the gelatos on there as well. I'm going to try to remember to put the link down below. So go ahead, check it out. These are so much fun. They're great to use with the kids. They're great to use in your art, in your mixed media, in your art journal, in whatever. Uh, just remember when you're done doing these, uh, when you're done with your picture or whatever you want to use, and these four, uh, you might want to seal it and you can spray on, you know, some people use hairspray, there's spectra fix, there's, you know, all kinds of things. Uh, if you use your gel medium to activate these or your Mod Podge, you don't have to fix it. So with that, I love you guys so very much. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And let me know uh, in a comment down below anything else you want to see and any questions. See you guys later.